For today's project, we're going to start with some hula hoops. Take your first two hula hoops and you're going to place them one inside the other. It's going to deform it a little bit, but that's all right. Take a zip tie and you're going to use it to join the two tops of the hula hoops. Pull it tight. Now the hula hoop's going to go a little crazy on you, but that's okay. You're going to put two of those together and they're going to be crisscross to each other. That's what's going to hold it in place. Go ahead and use your scissors. Take off the excess zip ties right there. And then what we're going to do is turn it over and we got to do the same thing on the other side. That's what's going to hold these together. So again, use the zip ties, put them crisscross on each other, and make sure you pull them nice and tight. If it deforms the hula hoop a little bit, that's okay. Cut off the excess, and now it's time to put the third one in. This one can be a little tricky, but go ahead and put it on the inside. It's easier to work with. Again, using the zip ties, put them together. The hula hoops kind of want to go their own way, but use the zip ties and hold them in place. The more, the better. It is ready to go. We're going to take it outside and give it a nice paint job. Make sure the paint you use is good for plastic. Now, since we're making us a yard pumpkin, we want to use a nice orange spray. This covers really good, and you're just going to hang it up and paint every single bit of that plastic anywhere that you have a color that you don't want. The next step is we're going to use some of these fairy lights. I went ahead and got the orange ones. They're really good, easy to get off Amazon. They come with a remote, and the great thing about them is they're 33 feet long. Plenty to cover all of your pumpkin, especially with this waterproof case for the batteries. Go ahead and zip tie the battery pack to the bottom. This way it'll have some weight on the bottom when you're holding it steady. Go ahead and take the fairy lights and start wrapping. Don't think that you're gonna wrap too tight. Just put it on there. There's 33 feet of this, plenty to go. You're going to go up, down, and all around every one of the tubes. Once you go ahead and get to the end, just use a little bit of tape, tape it off. Next, I got some 16 gauge wire. Use this, and we're going to make the stem. I pre-drilled some holes with a drill, poked it through. Make sure you have plenty of wire, and just wrap it around. It looks like a stem when you push it up there, and you're going to put two ends in. Pull it through, again, wrap it around the hula hoops. That's what's going to help hold it together. And then you're going to want to shape it. I just went ahead and did a simple stem. The last step was some small fairy lights. These are only about a couple of feet long. Zip tie the control to the bottom. And what you're going to do, again, is wrap it all over around the stem. Go up and down and make sure you cover everything. If you have a little bit too much at the end, you can go ahead and start going back again. It is going to look great. Just get it all wrapped around. It's time to take it outside, use some wire or tent stake to hold your pumpkin down, and there we are. Once nightfall comes, use the remote, and there you go. Now I did an orange one and a white one. And the great thing about these lights is the lights can flash and do eight different modes. And wow, what a scene from the street. It looks amazing. So I've decided I want to do a bunch of smaller pumpkins. So I'm just going to mark some spots evenly numbered. So that'll make a four inch pumpkin. I go down 10 to 10 inches. That'll make a six inch pumpkin. And you just keep going until you have as many sizes of pumpkin as you'd like. So I'm going to take my square and just use it to make lines to help me guide myself when I'm cutting with my saw. So I've picked the line that's sort of in the middle of my wood so I can get these into smaller pieces and then I'll go ahead and cut the smaller pieces from there. So let's start cutting. So to make the stems for our pumpkins, you just need to find a branch or two. Um, I'm gonna cut this into smaller pieces so that I can use it for a couple of the pumpkin stems. And I'm just gonna use this pruning shear, power lever, whatever you wanna call it. Insert it in there. Use your body weight, push. So then we need to find the center point of each pumpkin. So I'm just gonna take my square again, go on the diagonal, and this does not have to be exact. Do you wanna go both directions, corner to corner? See where you get that X, and you're gonna do that with all 
of your pumpkin. So you're gonna figure out which you want to be the top and which you want to be the bottom. Okay, so then you need to find a drill bit so that you can make a hole for your stem. We figured this out by just using the piece of wood and finding a drill bit that was about as wide across as we wanted. So this is one we're gonna use. And also we're gonna put hot glue in here. So if it's not, if it's a little bit bigger, that's okay. So I'm gonna, I've got it clamped down to the table. I'm gonna put the tip right where my X is. And you don't have to go all the way in. You can just go as far in as you feel like you wanna go. So we're spray painting all of the squares white because we're making two-toned pumpkins, orange and white, and we want to have white as the base coat, and then we'll paint the orange patterns on top of it. While we're waiting for the pumpkins to dry, I'm going to punch what will be polka dots that we're going to adhere to the wood and then spray paint over. So this is just cardstock and I've got a punch. If you've got a die cutting machine, you can use it. Um, whatever you've got to make circles, you make as many as you want. And then um, I'm taking a Xyron machine that has repositionable adhesive in it. Um, again, like if you're using vinyl or you're using sticker paper, you don't have to worry about this. I'm going to Put these in a couple at a time, roll them through, and then I will be ready to stick these on to make my polka dot pumpkin when the paint is dry. So I'm going to put polka dots on my shortest pumpkin, and I'm just peeling these off. And there's, I'm not measuring or anything, and we're just giving it a really good rub. We're just gonna can fold it around the corners. And I'm gonna cover the entire pumpkin, and then we're going to use painter's tape to put stripes on the other pumpkin. Okay, so now I'm using painter's tape to make the stripes. The reason I use painter's tape is because it comes up easily, so I have a chance to sort of work with it if I wanna get it if I feel like it's not straight. And again, you can measure these out, but I prefer to just eyeball. Lay that down. There you go. And you do as many stripes as you want, and then we'll be ready to add a coat of white spray paint to seal the edges. So now I'm just gonna use a super light coat of white to seal the edges and then we'll be ready to paint our orange. Now we're ready to remove all of our designs. Um, remember when you're using paint like this, you might have some smush, so like right there, you can just take a fine tip um, paintbrush if, and make those corrections if you feel strongly about it and you are gonna see the you know the pattern of the wood but I think that turned out pretty good so you're gonna peel off your paint stripes when you're going for the circles you may need to get a pair of scissors or something to get it going I um, used my fingernail to get the first one off and again I mean those edges look pretty good to me but if you have concerns you can always just um, like right there, you can just use a little bit of a paintbrush. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the rest of these off and then we'll be ready to add our stems. So for the last step, we're gonna take the pieces of our branch that we cut earlier, we're gonna put them in the hole and we're gonna hot glue them in there. If you find they're a little bit too big, you can always shave them down a little bit with a razor. This actually fits down perfectly. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue right in there. Put this down in. And then you're going to give that just a few seconds to set. And I've already put this one in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add ribbon to make the leaves. Um, if this is something that's going to be outside in the weather, you might want to use sisal instead. Um, but this is going to be under my uh, on my porch, under cover, so I don't have to worry. So you can just take any colored green ribbon that you like. Cut it at an angle. And you'll have your little pop of green for your pumpkin. 
and voila, the perfect pop of color for your fall porch or your home decor or your mantle, anywhere you want to add a little fun to your fall decorations.